Introduction to Networks. Develop the IP before addressing a scheme, giving an IP address and mask of 192.168.20 slash 24. Design an IP addressing scheme that satisfies the following requirements. Subnet A 12 host and subnet B 60 host. Subnet A 12 host and subnet B 60 host. So you can start for the highest number 60 hosts and 182, 20 because 20 is the base address and for 60 host you need to use uh, a prefix of 26 okay that will support uh, 62 hosts and the next for 12 hosts right two one sixty eight two the next network is 64 and for 12 host use a submit mask of 28 okay 28 prefix will support 14 hosts okay use the subnet 0 for the first subnet subnet b will be the first subnet and use 0 host computers we use the last IP address in the subnet okay this is subnet B and this is the network the last IP address here is 62 so we'll be assigned to PCB for host computers okay the first is one but the last is 62 and for this another network subnet a the first ip is 65 and the last is 78 78 for host computer pca the network router will use the first usable host address so for this router use the first in this case is one and for subnet A is uh, 65 the switch will use the second usable host address okay on subnet B if the router uses the first S1 switch will use the second so will be that too Initialize and reload devices, erase startup configurations and VLANs from router and switch and reload the devices. Okay, go to R1, verify the configuration. Enter, enable, uh, erase, startup, dash config, enter, enter, reload, enter, enter. Goes to switch as one. Command line interface enter enable configure term uh, erase startup dash config enter enter delete vlan dot dot enter 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 and reload. Now. Uh, Configure configure device IPv4 and security settings. Configure host computers. Go to PCA and assign the IP address 192.168.278. Subnet mass 28 is to 40, and the default gateway is 65. The default gateway for PCA 192.168.265. Now PCB, the IP address 
192.168.262. So LED mask 26 is 192. And the default gateway for PCB, the default gateway is this one. 192.168.21. Okay, configure R1, go to router. Would you like to enter initial configuration? No, enter, enable, configure terminal, disable DNS lookup, no IP domain lookup, router name R1, case sensitive, host name R1, domain name ccna-lab.com, IP domain dash name ccna lab.com encrypt that privilege exec password Cisco MPAS enable secret Cisco MPAS console access password Cisco Compass line console zero password Cisco Compass and login to enable that password Telnet access password Cisco BTY pass line BTY 0 to 15 password Cisco BTY pass okay Cisco BTY pass enter and login to enable the password set the minimum length of passwords 10 characters exit you know, security passwords min dash length 10. Create an administrative user in the local database. Okay, username and is admin space password admin one pass. Password admin one pass. Set to login on BTY lines to use local database. Okay. Line BTY 0 to 15, login local. Set BTY lines to accept SSH. Transport input SSH. Encrypt the clear text passwords. Exit. Service password dash encryption. Message of the day banner authorized access only. Message of the day. Sorry, banner message of the day. How to rise. Okay, sensitive. How to rise it. Access only. How to rise it. Access only. Gigabit zero zero. Set layer uh, layer three IP before others and activate the interface. Interface gigabit zero IP address. This is the IP address for gigabit zero zero sixty five. is two forty. Okay, the subnet mask here is two twenty eight, so it's two forty. And activate the interface, no shutdown. Gigabit zero one. Um, IP address activate the interface. The IP address is one. Okay, on gigabit zero one, the IP address is one. And the subnet mask is twenty six. That is not one ninety two. No shutdown. Generate RSA crypto key one twenty four bits modulus. Exit. Crypto key generate RSA general keys modulus 1024. Enter and configure as one. Enter. Enable configure terminal. Hostname as one. Hostname as one. Okay, sensitive. Configure management interface SBI. Set the layer three IP before address. Remember this is number two one eight two one sixty eight two two. 
on SBI interface VLAN 1, maybe others, 92, 168, 22, and subnet mask 255, 255, 192. No shutdown. Encrypt that privilege, exec password, Cisco and pass. Okay, before to apply passwords, uh, configure the default gateway, exit IP default gateway. And the default gateway is one. I two one sixty eight two one. Uh, encrypt that privilege, exec password, Cisco and pass. Enable secret Cisco and pass. Enable secret Cisco and pass. Console password Cisco compass. Line bit uh, line console zero pass what Cisco compass. Login. Internet access password Cisco BTY pass. Line BTY zero to fifteen. Password Cisco BTY pass. Login. Exit. And test and verify IP before end to end connectivity. So from PCA, you can verify the connectivity to PCB 62, being 192.168.262. Success. Ping to S1, that is 2. Enter. Success. Repeat. Success. Ping to interfaces on router 1 and 65. Ping 1. Success. Ping to 65. Success. And now, configure IPv6 addressing. Given an IPv6 network address of 2001 db 8 acad colon, colon, 164 Configure IPv6 addresses for the gigabit interfaces on R1. Use subnet ID 1 for subnet A and subnet ID 2 for subnet B. Okay, you have this, uh, this IPv6 2001 DBA ACAD. And ID 1 for subnet A, column 1, column, column, prefix 64. Okay, and subnet ID 2 for subnet B. Okay. And here, the ID number 2 for subnet B. Use FE80 column column 1 as the link local address on both interfaces. Router R1 configuration configuration tasks for R1 include the following. Configure gigabit 00 to use first address in subnet A. Okay, the first address in subnet A. This is subnet A. Use the first for IPv6. So for IPv6, use the first. The first is zero, but I will use one. Okay. Assign IPv6 unicast, IPv6 link local, for gigabit 01 to use the first address on subnet B. Okay, for subnet B, use the first, I will use one. And enable IPv6 unicast routing, and do this on R1. Go to gigabit 00, interface gigabit 00, IPv6 address, Okay, because assign IPv6 unicast address and is this one two zero zero one db eight ACAD one colon colon one prefix sixty four the link local remember FE eight zero colon colon one link local 
Okay, uh, the, the gigabit interface uh, zero, 00 is already enabled. And now configure uh, gigabit zero 01 unicast address and link local. Go to gigabit zero 01. And the unicast address will be 2001 db8 acad2 colon colon 1 prefix 64. And use the same link local address. And finally, Enable IPv6 unicast routing. Exit IPv6 unicast dash routing. And test verify. Go to PCA and ping PCB. Okay, but before to uh, before to test connectivity, you you need to configure uh, IPv6 go to automatic and this is the ipv6 address on pcb using a slack and go to pca and set ipv6 configuration to automatic and use um, go common prompt and ping to this ipv6 address ping to 001 db8 Okay, ping from PCA to PCB. And this is the IPv6 address of PCB. Go to PCA, ping to 001 DB8 ACAD, column 2, column 210, column 11 FF, column FEEB, column A5, D3, enter. Success. Okay, ping to R1 interfaces uh, to colon colon one success and one colon colon one success. 100% thank you very much.